Welcome to Point to Rise, your podcast that gives you permission to dream big, take messy action, and turn your talent into profit while turning your back on perfection. My name is Suzanne Purcell, high performance and mindset coach, former international ballerina, profitable entrepreneur, and founder of Point to Rise, a movement designed to empower dancers. It is my mission to use my own story as an inspiration for today's generation of dancers. And now sit back, stretch, warm up, or zip your coffee and love learning how much it matters to point at yourself first to rise to all that you are capable of. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Point to Rise podcast. My name is Suzanne and I am your host today. Today, I want to talk about the importance of resting. And this is not just coming out of left field. This is something that I've been on a journey, I would say myself, for years and years and years now. Um, And the more I'm actually putting energy on figuring out what resting and recovering and recharging for me really means, the more I actually see how Ah, less of that was in my prior life, how there was no teaching around the importance of resting, actually quite to the controversy. And let me back up here. So as a, a student of dance and ballet from the age of 10 all the way to the age of 18, I was taught that resting is not an option, that resting is for the weak, that the resting is for the lazy. And the more you rest, the less you will accomplish. And I'm sure you can add your own stories here and insert your own um, beliefs that you have heard over the past years in wherever you are at right now of what resting really means for you. And and I, I understand that in order to achieve, we have to put in the work. But the more and more I get into resting and, and, and understanding what we're actually doing and how we're helping ourselves to be more um, powerful and tapping into our true potential, that resting is actually a big part of it. And we forget to lean into that part. We, un- we think that at least that's what I've been taught. Um, the hard work only will be producing and resting for me was only sleeping and perhaps wedging out on the couch, yeah, and watching a movie because that's all I was capable of. You know, resting doesn't mean pausing completely. There are different ways of resting, but we'll get we'll get into that. Um, so when I when I got out of dancing and into like corporate and even even in my own first business that I had, I don't think resting was ever something that was encouraged or put on the same level as working hard. And I think that's where I really want to get at that in order to be really, really powerful, in order to tap into our entire potential Figuring out what resting means is just as important as figuring out how you can work the most, meaning resting, recovering, recharging is actually being part of working hard or even better, let's make it part of working hard. Let's make it a part of your daily routine and not just 20 minutes, not just, you know, when you can't swim anymore, not when you can't breathe anymore, when you're down in a Chesapeake and, and, and really can't breathe anymore. Not, that's not the time where you need to think about resting. No, that's where you have to get back into whatever it is you are and where you want to be. But why are we proactive about that? Why are we not seeing as a part of our way to success. So here's here's what I've learned over the past, I would say even year pandemic perhaps that um, if I don't put 
just as much emphasis in recovering and resting myself. And again, I'm emphasizing this is not sleeping and wedging out on the couch only. In fact, that I, I am currently working on restructuring my evening routine because I found myself slipping into this lovely resting phase of just watching TV in the end of the night versus actually resting productively, meaning I can rest my body, but maybe my brain still has some energy so I could read or write or be creative in a way that will set me up better for the next day. Um, so all of this, there are so many ways of how we can be resting as well. Where was I? Let me, let me back up. Do I need to back up? No, I don't. So I am encouraging you that not to buy into the belief that in order to be successful, in order to make it, and whatever that means to you, that is a fully, completely other topic, that make a resting just as much of a part of your path to success as you make working hard. And here's for my all my dancer listeners, here's a hard question for you to answer. Look at how many hours you spent in the studio working on your body. How many hours is that? Six, eight, 10, five. And now add up how many hours are you actually taking time to rest? And I'm not, I'm not only talking about sleeping. Okay. They need to be others. Like your eight hours of sleep are a given. What else are you doing? What else are you doing to recover? Because sometimes we don't fully recover in sleeping. And sometimes sleeping only um, is one way of recovering, but it's not everything. It is not recovering everything in your body and your mind. So let's look at what recovery, resting, recharging actually looking could look like. So we have, you know, the, the quietness and then we have the active way of recovering. So for, for examples for this, this stillness, for me personally is besides sleeping, it is visualization and meditation. It is reading, writing, um, even watching TV. It is sitting and playing a game. It is even sometimes just doing the dishes because you can, in these kind of monotony um, actions, you can rest your mind and you can think of other things and, and you just let your mind go and, and things are coming in that are um, creative that you couldn't perhaps think of when you were just working on, let's say in a studio or in front of your computer. And the active way of recovery, resting and recharging for me is, one of my favorites is being outside, just outside in nature, walking. I could walk forever. Um, that really, really gives me a new energy. It's, it's like you, you plug me in like a car, you know? It's like you plugging me in into, um, in, into a charger and it really recharges my mental capacity and, and my creativity and even my, my ability to, to look at problems or issues from a different perspective. And, and I'm so much quicker to find solutions. So that is one of my favorite ways of, um, yeah, just recharging actively, going to the gym, um, a bike ride, like anything that has to do with moving my body is for me an active act of recovery. So I, I really encourage you to look at your life, look at what you're doing right now, look in what kind of a season you're stepping into. Um, the holiday season is for, gosh, for coaches and for, for online business owners or your own business owner. You have a business that you own um, or you are um, in the performing arts. And that, that time of year for us is hard. There's more to do. There is no time to, to come up for air, right? So when you're doing eight shows in six days, 
how much time are you spending on recovering, resting, and recharging? And if that time is not equaling the time that you are actually spending working, then you have some opportunity there. You have something to tap into um, and find different ways on where you can take more time for yourself. Filling up, scrolling on Instagram, things where your mental capacity can be um, taken up is not necessarily for me, at least some uh, a time that I consider as resting. I'm, I'm just putting that out there that if you, for example, come back to me, well, I spent three hours on Instagram and that is my resting period. I, I dare you to find something different. All right, you guys, as always, share your biggest takeaway. It would mean the world to me. I would love to know if this resonated with you, when it resonated with you, what actually was your biggest gift. Share this on Instagram. I can't wait to see it. And till next time, my darlings, I'm sending you so much love. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. If this message resonates with you, please pass it on to someone who needs to hear this right now. And if you like what you've heard, your feedback will go a very long way. If you just take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review, that would mean the world to me. Till next time, point at yourself to rise to all that you are capable of.